Hello, welcome to all. Myself, Professor Vishal Thakre from SND College of Engineering and Research Center. Today we have discussed about on the subject that is SMD, Solid Modeling and Drafting, right? So, uh, for in the first unit we have studied the some fundamentals of 3D modeling, right? So, in this simple, so uh, introduction of 3D modeling. Uh, modeling is basis basically the process of taking a shape and modeling it into a completed 3D mesh. The most typical means of creating a 3D model is to take a simple object known as primitive. Right? Simple. Uh, 3D modeling is just a, in a variety of applications to make representation of physical object on the computer okay uh, means uh, uh, 3d modeling uh, is a subject subset of computer added design in which you use a computer to assist in the design process for any type of design work okay so uh, 3d modeling uh, is that the process of developing graphics and picture that appear to possess three dimensions but generally it involves connecting a set of points with various geometric data such as lines and curved surfaces with the goal of creating wireframe model that represent a three dimensional object right simple uh, it is a used in a variety of application mostly when it comes to designing part on computer to uh, assist in the making of visualization of those parts means a computer model right is used to communicate dimensions material types etc uh, to anyone uh, viewing the design and can be used to make control path for computer right that is simple uh, cnc machine we have to use okay in mechanical okay so uh, the computer added design and drafting is a powerful technique to create a drawing okay so in this uh, simple uh, CAD the uh, CAD is a simple uh, very uh, powerful technique to create a design right means uh, uh, simple uh, 3d modeling in general makes the product uh, design process more efficient okay in this uh, modeling pro program allows you to create and visualize final product okay or modify and optimize the designs any document design or measurement and uh, material easily you have to uh, build or visualize okay so uh, designers typically use one of the uh, four more modeling methods namely polygonal primitives non uniform traditional b spline or patches right uh, then next topic is product life cycle so uh, simple uh, product life cycle uh, easily uh, is defined as the change in sales volume change the change in sales volume of a specific product offered by an or organization over the expected life of the product right so uh, simple uh, in any kind of or uh, the change of in sales volume of a specific product offered by an organization over the expected life of the product that is a product life cycle so uh, we have a uh, simple example we have a uh, life cycle we we are born we grow we mature and finally we pass away right so that is simple our uh, product uh, our life cycle right and product life cycle there are uh, similarly product also have a uh, life cycle from their introduction to decline they progresses they progresses through uh, sequence of stages different types of stages right so uh, in a product life cycle defines the stages that a product moves through in uh, marketplace as it as it uh, enters becomes established and exist in the market right in order uh, in other words the product life cycle describe the stages that product is likely experience it is useful tool for managers to help them analyze and develop strategy for their product as they enter and exit each 
stages right so uh, uh, the major stages in the product life cycle are uh, introduction growth maturity and decline so these are the uh, stages in product life cycle right so product life cycle describe transition of product from its development to decline right uh, means uh, <clears throat> the time period of product life cycle and the length of the length of each stage varies from product to product means there are a different type uh, there are different stages in different product uh, developments right or uh, stages in uh, various uh, products right so a life cycle of one product can be over in few months and uh, of another product may be last for many years right there is a uh, different pro uh, product uh, product life cycle stages are varies from product to product right so uh, uh, when one product one product uh, is uh, over in a few months right but another product may last in last of uh, for many years right one product reach to maturity in years and another can reach in few months right so that is a simple way one product is uh, uh, easily reach to maturity and one product is many years to reach to uh, maturity right so uh, one product stays at the maturity for years and another just a few months hence hence it is true to say that uh, length of each stage varies from product to product right so in this uh, product life cycle is uh, associated with variations in the marketing situation level of competition product demands consumer understanding etc thus marketing managers have to change the marketing strategy and the uh, and the marketing mix accordingly right so uh, they this strategy is very useful to the managers because uh, it is very useful for managers to help them analyze and uh, develop strategy to their product as they enters and exit each stage okay uh, so there is a end of our lecture next time we have studied another topic